Roz and Patty here, and it looks like I've been diamond painting. Well, you know, last night I watched the movie Trolls with Branch because we had never seen it before. <laughs> yeah, and while I was watching the movie, I finished up my diamond painted storage box, and I'll talk about that in a few moments. So while we're on the subject of diamond painting, I wanted to share with you a few diamond painting kits that I got at the Dollar Tree. So come on along. Well, you know the name of my channel is Just Journaling with Possum Patty, but like the intro says, I may do other crafts, diamond painting, wood burning, mono printing, slow stitching, but they usually will wind up in a journal or have something to do with journaling. Now, I made this storage box diamond painted because I wanted to use it to store some diamond painted stickers to put in my journals, of course. <laughs> so I had fun finishing this up. I haven't done the stickers yet because I wanted to do the box first. So I have some little sticker diamond painting projects to work on. And I saw some diamond painted kits, diamond painting kits at the Dollar Tree. And I was like, Oh, well, I'm going to get those and compare them to the ones that I found online. So why don't you come in closer? I discovered two different kinds of diamond painting sets at the Dollar Tree, Crafter Square, of course. The first sets are six by eight inches, and it looks like it looks like there's a sheet, but only the main figure is diamond painted. Now this might be really good for beginners if you just want to try this out, because you don't have to get the whole sheet done to get that satisfaction of having completed the project. And for $1.25, you can try it if you like it. Then you can go buy some more expensive sets, I would imagine. But I love this colorful toucan. And on this one, it's roses or flowers in a vase in the shape of a watering can. And again, it doesn't look like the background is diamond painted, just the main figure. And they're 6 by 8 which means I can put these in a journal because they're only 6 by 8 and I've only found these two so far. And the other kind of set is a diamond painting keychain. And there were a few of these. Yeah, there were a few of these. And it says two and a half by 3.1 inches. And a cute little figure. I got the little cactus. There was another one. That was a, I think it was a cup of coffee and one that was a butterfly. I was going to try this out and then, you know, if I think it's worth the while, worth the dollar twenty-five, I thought maybe I would get the other ones for my, you know, grandnieces and nephews and see if they would like to do one. My sister loves to do little crafty projects with her, with her grand, so they might have fun doing that. So we're going to open these up. I only have one of these, so let's open this one first. Now this is supposed to be a keychain. Looks like maybe the key ring is included. I don't know if this is going to be plastic or wood. Then okay, you open it up and you get some directions. 
color coding there. Instructions in English. And it is wood. Oh my gosh, look at that. Where's... There's nothing on there. Oh, it is a deep... Oh, 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 oh. I see. This is different. So this is a sticker. So it should have a plastic seal in the front. Yeah, here it is. So this is the plastic seal because this is sticky. You put your little gems on there, but then you peel that off. And this is a sticker that goes on the little wooden piece. Hmm. Now that might be a little tricky for kids, but I guess if you help them with all that, getting the sticker onto the little wooden piece, that that would be okay. But it's interesting that it's not plastic, right? It's a nice little laser cut wood piece. You can use this as some ephemera in your journal. It's very light and very thin, which makes it breakable. So maybe not an excellent idea for a keychain, but hmm, this could be an interesting piece of ephemera in your journal with a cute little cactus on it. Okay, so we'll try this one out after we open up the other ones. And it shows that you get a little tray. They all have these little green trays. And they have the little wax to help you pick up the beads. And the little picker-up tool, which is just like a cheap plastic straw. Now, I have a... Got a soft, squishy one. <laughs> People with arthritis, right? This is lovely, soft and squishy. All right, like I said, we're going to put this aside for right now. Now, I am by no means a diamond painting expert. <laughs> After I show you the Dollar Tree products, because I know that's what people are interested in seeing, I will share with you some of the things I have made for journaling. I have never done a full sheet painting to put on the wall. I have enough stuff on the wall. I was mostly interested in doing some journaling projects with the diamond painting. Okay, so let's open up the flowers. Okay, this is like a piece of cardstock, about the weight of a cardstock. Actually, like a thin cardstock. And it's got a little bit of a gloss, plasticky finish to it. If you peel back the protective sheet there, but it's kind of pretty almost photographic and then you put the little shapes on there and it's got some directions it looks like just about the same directions and same kit inside and here's your colors and let's take a look at the you can. I like how they have this soft photographic background and, and then your figure you uh, diamond paint there. The numbers are pretty clear and they're not, you know, it's not like straight lines of diamond painting. It's like a special shape here. Same directions. Same kit, and 
the colors. Now these are like little candy pieces. <laughs> they're not um they're not like the clear gems like on this box like these are like pearlescent these are like diamond and these are almost like clear sparkle gems they do have like a little diamond facet to reflect the light but they're opaque they're not like gem like they're opaque Before I start this, let's just look inside some of these kits. These kits I got online, and these are stickers, little fairy stickers. I thought these were adorable. Look at the ladybug, the bumblebee, dragonfly. Same kit, but the gems in this are a little bit more sparkly. They've got that clear sparkle to them. They're not that solid. But in this set, those are stickers. These are gnome stickers. Same set. And some of these are the opaque. Actually, it looks like all of these are the opaque kind, just like the Dollar Tree. Now, the reason I dragged these out to show you is because, like, this has six stickers, the gnomes. I'm going to cut that apart so they stop getting all wrinkly. And this has six stickers. So if you get, like, six of them and they cost you, I don't know, like, four or five dollars plus shipping, get this for $1.25. These look like they're going to have more gems on it than this. But, I mean, you know, maybe it's comparable. Maybe it's comparable. We shall see. Just going to quickly try some of these. Now, there's all ways of doing this. I usually cut them apart. Open them up, put a paper clip on the end, and go from there. So there's the number to guide you. And I fold it over and I put a paper clip. I don't have a bunch of little containers to <laughs> dump these into, so. This is the way I'll do it for now. I've been working on that box for a while. Actually, I had it in a tray under the couch. <laughs> yeah, it was under the couch in a tray, and then I could just pull it out and work on it when I'm watching the TV. And I was like really into it for a while, and then I, I kind of took a break. Peel one side off the wax. Okay, so let's just start at the top and do number one. I put a couple in there. You don't need too many. Well, I always think I'm going to like run out of little diamonds, but you know, that's never happened. Put some wax on your pen. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's use this one. Since I spent a lot of time last night doing this, you just touch it and put it down. You don't have to press hard. It picks it right up. Well, these are a little shinier than they look in the picture because they do have little diamond facets on them that catch the light. When you shake it, it's supposed to line them up. There you go. You can see how they do sparkle. Yeah, that's prettier than I thought it was going to be. 
Yep. I like it. I love when things work out <laughs> better than you thought. Yeah, so I think the kids will love this. It'll go fast and they'll have a cute little project. See, that's all there is to number one. <laughs> that was it. That was number one. My gosh, look at that. You get a whole bunch of these left over. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Let me just put a little green on there because now I'm having fun. Number three. <laughs> Number three. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll just put a few more. I'll just put a few more and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then I want to show you some of my diamond painting journaling projects. Yeah. So if you've never tried diamond painting but are curious, on what all the fuss is about. Go down to the Dollar Tree and get yourself a $1.25, a $1.25 diamond painting set and give it a try. Or if you got some kids, I think these little ones would be really fun projects with kids. And once you get going, it's like, ooh, let me just do a little more. Let me just do a little more. Let me just do a little more. <laughs> and then you go on and on. Oh, I just thought of something. I just thought of something. This is a sticker. I don't have to put it on this wood piece. I could, or I could just stick it like this down in my journal. Hmm. That would be interesting. Because this is already three-dimensional, right? With the little beads popping up like that. I don't have to put that on this. I could save this and just paint something on here at another time. Hmm. You know, I guess there's a few things you can do with this. There's always a little bead somewhere, right? You peel back your plastic where you're working, but then you put it back to protect the sticky bits until you are finished. Well, this is actually a little cuter than I thought it was going to be. And it does sparkle. It does sparkle. And now I have an idea that I can use this as a sticker. And I just thought of something else. If I bought a couple of these and I have this many left over, I can make like a pink cactus or I can make a yellow cactus or a white cactus or I have plenty of these left over from other projects and I could put some sparkly bits on there if I wanted to. Ooh, get creative. Get creative. Yes. Look at that. Hmm. Well, that would be a fun, creative project. <laughs> Is to get a couple of these and get some diamonds left over from other projects and mix them up and just have fun. Be more creative. And, you know, instead of just like two, 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 four, 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 Oh, I can I could like mix them up and make them any color I want to and get out my extra diamonds left over from other projects and <laughs> and have a play. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, we'll do that one day. We'll definitely do that. So I'll finish this one and I'll look around for a few more of these, maybe the butterflies, maybe a couple of these. And then I'll put all the colors out. And we'll just have some creative fun switching the colors around. <laughs> That'll be fun. I got so excited about getting creative, I forgot to look at the keychain top. The ring is a little lightweight. And the jump ring... No, I don't like this jump ring because, see, it's, it's not closed. I don't know if you could see that. 
it's like overlapped and not closed all the way. Yeah, that looks like that would come right out of there. I guess you can get a pliers and fix that though. Yeah, I'd have to fix that because that's that would come right off of there. I'm not going to use it anyway, but that's what that is. Well, I showed you my stickers. And when they're done, they're going to go in my box for safekeeping until I put them in a journal. Now the box was diamond painted on all four sides and the top. It comes as six flat pieces. So I did the top first. And then I did each side. And it's just tongue and groove, you can see. It's just tongue and groove construction. I didn't put any glue on it yet. I might seal this. I use Aileen's Clear Tacky Gel. This is what I use for sealer. And so far it's working really well. I just get this at the Walmart. So this will come out. You'll be seeing that. And I do have several journals that have been diamond painted. This is my owl journal. It's got like a leather cover and I like the printing on the front and then you do, they call this special shape. And I did seal this with the clear gel. And this is just a little sketchbook. Oh, I did two pages of sketches in here. <laughs> Just some uh, colored pencil sketches. This was last spring. And then I did this. I get most of my diamond painting things from One Day Saving. And they've contacted me again this um, to do another spring project. So I'll be getting something new to share with you. And they call this a clutch bag. I thought this came out really pretty. And I just thought this would be great for storage or for you know popping a little fairy journal in there and taking it along to work on. And this is called a passport cover, a cover to fit your passport. It's another beautiful one. But what I did was I turned this into a little fabric flow journal. And I have little scraps of fabric in here that I can pull out and do a slow stitch project with when I'm on the go. And you can see, you know, it's it's got elastic there. And this is just some craft paper. And I just put that in there like that. Now I was just thinking, I can take a piece of felt, put some needles on it, put it in here, maybe a little pair of scissors, like this embroidery scissors, and I can put a piece of cardboard with some embroidery floss wrapped around it, and then I would have everything right here, everything in this one little journal to do some slow stitching on the go and I could just pop this in my pocketbook and this would be everything. So these are just a few of the projects that I finished. And I do have a few more journals. This one I started. This is my spring pansy. I intended to do a lot more sketching and I, I haven't gotten to it. I started this one. I think I was just demonstrating this in when I hauled these. And this one was Christmas gnomes. So there you have it. Just a quick look at the Dollar Tree Crafter Square diamond painting sheet sets and diamond painting keychain sets. 
Got a lot of creative ideas for these little guys. <laughs> I'll come back for that. And I will be working on these and coming back and showing you the finished product. So stay tuned for that. So thanks for coming along today for this little bit of a crafts for journaling share. Happy junk journaling. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.